Yo, what is up, guys? Um, <laughs> this is like my fifth time doing this voiceover, and I'm not trying to redo it because it just it's it's, it's annoying. So yeah, but <clears throat> I will say, when it comes to me like explaining how to play Hag, there's only so much I can say because it's Hag, and there's so there's only so much that you can do with Hag. Or like explain on how to play hag like if you're a newer type of player it's, it's really gonna be hard to explain for you but like if you're somebody who's like been playing for a while you know how to play like you know how survivors play and all that then you'll 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 pretty much understand what I'm saying to be like okay I get it let me try it let me try the 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 type of play style that you just told me and then you'll be like okay i get it and whatever else <clears throat> oh my god so um yeah but basically the best way to play hag is i also i might sound like i might i, I might keep I, oh my god i might like re oh my fucking god <laughs> i keep stuttering i might repeat stuff like over and over not intentionally just that's just how it might be for this video because like it's, it's hag and like I said there's not much to say on how to play her so yeah but <clears throat> the best way to or not the best way but the way to play hag as you'll see in this gameplay I'm waiting for it to start before I can like actually like say what I'm gonna say like the game I'm waiting for the game to start before I say what I say so as the game starts right here you can see as I as the game started, I'm already looking to see what gens I have next to me that I can um, protect, or like I'm just looking around to see what three gens are close to each other, and if possible, then four. I got lucky by spotting on the side of the map that has four gens close to each other, which is this one right here. There's one to my left on like that little patio thing that I didn't look at, but there's one to my left. And then there's this one in this deep corner, which I love because it's in the corner. And it makes it easier for me to get a hit when it comes to them running away because it's like a dead zone. Kind of. At least for the most part. So I got this gen. I got I got the gen I just trapped up. I got this one right here that I'm at right now. I got that one to my left right there as I just started looking up. And then I got the one that's right in front of Shaq. <clears throat> I got lucky with having four gens. And it's better to have four gens because when the survivors do the other gens that are across the map, then it leaves um, it leaves the gens that are, I'm protecting on my side of the map to guard for my life. So just right there out of that sentence, when it comes to playing hag, you want to stay on one side of the map. You don't want to go across the map because one, Hag is slow. Hag is not your typical killer that you can uh, chase survivors around loops and whatever because you're going to waste time and that time is valuable, especially for the gens that you swear to protect. Now, as you can see, I don't, well, the game just started, but in this gameplay, I do not leave this side of the map at all there's probably like two times where i almost did but i told myself i'm i'm making a bad choice i need to turn around and at one point i you can almost see that i almost like i almost messed up i literally almost messed up on on um I, like i almost sold the bag like i was about to commit to a survivor and i, I was about to lose um a gen in the process but i told myself stop turn around and i went back and I and I like I saved the gen so yeah but the, the right way to play hag is like you, you really just want to like find three to four gens if possible four but three three gens at the most guard them for your life and do not leave the other side of the map now in this gameplay there is like you'll see I get a lot of hits on survivors and they're just they stay alive they don't go down I don't put them on hook but at the same time I'm not like I'm not like, um, I'm not committing to them just so I can get a hook. I'm, I'm hitting them a lot, yes, and then they go heal up and then they come back. 
But what they don't realize is I have, I mean, they probably do realize it's not hard to tell when a killer has sloppy butcher, but I have sloppy butcher, which makes the healing process for them a whole lot slower. And eventually they're going to get tired of taking forever to heal because they're going to realize like, oh, this is, this is wasting time. I could be putting this time towards the gen and they're not going to want to heal no more. And they're just going to say, fuck it and risk their life. And these survivors were actually pretty good, in my opinion. Um... They they played really well. They they really did. They just kept. They you know, I'm just better. I'm just I'm just that guy. <laughs> no cap. But um. So yeah. But like. <laughs> it it. I forgot what I was talking about. Just cause I made that dumbass joke. But <clears throat> yeah. So. It's kind of like. Hmm. Yeah, I really did forget what I was where I was at with with like talking. Damn. Damn. Just damn. I don't feel like going back either because it's like my fifth time doing this whole like voiceover recording. It's so much work. So yeah, but um, there's not really much for me to say as far as like how to play hag though. Like I kind of already said it. I'm gonna say it one more time. The the best way, and the only way to really play hag is by finding three to four gens closest to each other on the map right as the game starts, and just trapping it up, and just committing to only those three to four gens the other gens they could do them let them finish some other gens let them do them other gens do not do not care about those other gens i will say though if you come across a virus that are smart and that know that it's best not to three gen it will make the game a whole lot more trickier because they will leave one gen across the map but you will tell yourself you're not going to that gen so do not go to that gen and when it comes down to that, if you know there's one gen across the map and you have three on your side, just know those three gens are for you to protect with your life, okay? Because those three gens, oh my god, those, those three gens are like, it's like you as the killer are the mama bear and the three gens are your cubs, okay? That's what, it, that's what it's like. You got to protect them at all costs. All right, so yeah, I don't, I don't really know what, like, how much, what, what like, ugh, I'm getting tired of stuttering. I don't know what else to like really say, as far as like, you know, how to play or whatever, because it's, it's, it's pretty like self-explanatory and pretty simple. But I mean, I'm, I'm basically ranting at this point. Like, I, I did. There's nothing for me to say for like 18 minutes on how to play hag really if, if i'm being honest so <clears throat> yeah but um yeah 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 if you, if you want you can enjoy the rest of the gameplay i wasn't really talking it's just gameplay alone but if you want you can watch the rest of the gameplay take a take a good watch on how to play hag and just just realize that it's not worth it to commit to chases because if you commit to a chase you're you're going you're setting yourself up to lose because hag is slow and there's only so much she can do hag is a defensive player so keep that in mind D that that should be another reason why you should not commit to chases because there's hag is not like your your typical killer like myers where she could walk fast as hell and vault fast as hell and get a free kill on you if possible hag is that killer where you need to set your traps correctly accordingly and even if survivors untrap them oh well majority of them are not even gonna untrap them they're just gonna crouch walk to them and avoid even setting it off and at that point if you're making your way back to them you could potentially try to cut them off and if they get scared they might activate your trap by running at when they see you coming and then you could just teleport get a free hit and do not commit just I will say, never commit to a survivor. Yes, they might heal, and it's like, damn, they all healed. Now I gotta go hit them again. That's okay. Because, realistically, you shouldn't be committing at all. You should only, you should only hit, uh, you should only, like, the only time you're really gonna get it down on survivor, on a survivor, is like, if they don't heal. And as you can see in this gameplay, at some point they all just stop healing because like they realize they're wasting time healing and I got fortunate enough that 
Nobody had that perk where like you can self heal, which I think it's OP for no reason because like bro. That's like that's like stupid OP. Like really think about it. That's broken OP. Like survivor's already strong enough. Like put the like put four good survivors together. One having that perk. You're getting chased. The other ones are like, oh I need to get healed. Just find a totem. And they heal themselves without even needing self care or a med kit. Bro, that's OP. All that pressure you just put on the survivor just for them to heal themselves because of a totem. Because of because of a totem. And I know it's like, oh the killer just break it, but it's like bro. I'm going off track. But yeah, you get the point. So yeah, there's not much for me to really say about playing hag. Um, if you guys want to finish the gameplay and actually see, you know, what happens, how many kills I get, whatever, feel free. But, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry for ranting in your ears. Because I kind of felt like I just said nothing this whole video. But, you, you know, I, I tried. I tried. I'm not really the best how to how to person of explain or No, 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 no. Actually, it's just because it's hag. There's not really much to say for hag. So, it's kind of like I'm just ranting at this point hoping whatever comes to mind for me to say is what i say because like i said there's really not much to say for hag so yeah but um hope you guys enjoyed feel free to subscribe and turn post notifications and let me know like in the comments what other killers you want me to like uh make videos on on how to play or whatever because i did one for plague but that was like months ago and now i'm doing this one for hag so yeah um um yeah all right cool all right peace out goodbye i don't know goodbye